Recent comments made by President Emerson Mnangagwa referring to attorneys, specifically the Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights CLHR, as counter-revolutionaries, have drawn condemnation and highlighted questions about the state of the rule of law in Zimbabwe. Mnangagwa questioned the loyalty of the nation's human rights attorneys during the opening of Lawyers for Economic Growth at State House in Harare. Some claim that Mnangagwa's remarks confirm the mounting danger to Zimbabwe's rule of law. Umningogwa lacks the moral standing to talk about patriotism, according to human rights advocates. They contend that Umningogwa and his party are wary of the new generation of revolutionaries and patriots who are attempting to reform Zimbabwean government. Additionally, they highlight the historical contribution of lawyers in defending patriots and revolutionaries during the struggle for freedom and honor those attorneys who still stand up for those seeking a better Zimbabwe. The chairman of the Institute for Security Studies Southern Africa program, Pierce Bigu, slammed Tumnengogwa's remark for its hypocrisy. He noted that it raises concerns about the government's plans to accuse ZLHR of lacking patriotism while proposing an autocratic patriot act. The director of the Zimbabwe Democracy Institute, Pedzasai Rohenia, emphasized the irony of Tumnengogwa's remarks by reminding him that ZLHR had previously represented war veterans who were detained while protesting the abuse of power at the time by former President Robert Mugabe and his wife Grace in favor of the vice president. Douglas Mahia, the ZANU-PF Secretary for War Veterans, was singled out by Rohenia as a recipient of CLHR's help. Umning Gogwa's threats against CLHR disappointed Citizens Coalition for Change member David Colton, who claimed that under his leadership, Zimbabwe's rule of law is seriously in jeopardy. Colton emphasized the irony of Umning Gogwa's statements, given that he received legal training from the late Chief Justice Enoch Tambuchin. Umningogwa's remarks have garnered criticism and concerns about Zimbabwe's rule of law, leading many to doubt the government's dedication to preserving democratic and human rights ideals.